Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's paint with me. I'm prepping the palette right now and something that I've picked up recently as a new habit is creating extra colors so instead of just laying down the color straight out of the tube in the rainbow spectrum that i've always been trained to do now i'm going to mix like four different shades of pink so that i don't have to mix it on the fly and i can just focus on the painting i'm laying down the underpainting and just using just picking whatever color is not going to stand out too much like as you layer just to lay out the composition but um, i'm currently referring to this digital sketch that I made um, for my Patreon reward. I have one tier where I make a cartoon or a drawing every single weekday and I, one of the mornings I made this painting idea that I thought would be like a really nice abstract painting and I even depicted like Prairie looking at it and I thought like it would be a fun idea except I don't have any rectangular canvases. All I have to work with are square ones, so this ratio is very different than the map that I planned out. So I'm kind of struggling, to be honest. I didn't like how it looked at all, but I'm just making do because tomorrow is a studio move, so I don't have anything else on me. And I really felt like painting, and I also needed to paint this f to film before um, all of my studio stuff like keeps me really busy for the next couple of weeks. You'll see that in the upcoming vlog. So um, whenever I mess up in my composition, I kind of just dip my brush in a little bit of like Gamsol or like paint thinner and you can just wipe it flat. That does slow down the drying time. I'm also watching TV because it's very soothing to do on the side and I have my reference picture pulled up as you can see right there. So um, this is my first time actually referring to a digital sketch of any sort to create an oil painting and my first time making something so graphic and, and like pop. And like, I honestly struggled a little bit. I felt very contrived, like I couldn't feel the flow. All I wanted to do was like replicate what I saw on the screen. And overall, like I just didn't feel very good about this decision. Um, like the, the paint strokes, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not used to making graphic designs with oil. I normally do that with gouache, as I mentioned. So this is just a whole learning process. So today is my last day painting in my home studio because tomorrow's the big move into my art studio. I am so excited to get back into my painting practice more seriously. I've been painting for most of my life, but it's never a bad idea to brush up on your skills and also push the boundaries and explore what more there is to learn. So I checked out a bunch of oil painting lessons on Skillshare and one of them that really inspired me is called Oil Painting Learn the Zora Limited Color Palette by Walt Rayanamo. And it's a technique that I'm hoping to try out. Today I'm not painting people or like a portrait, but I am working with a limited color palette just to see how that goes and also experimenting with abstraction because typically like my whole life I've always been using oil for more realism and then gouache and acrylic for abstract and like playful pop graphic design. A little more about Skillshare, it is an online learning community with so many categories, more than just art and design. Like there's culinary arts, entrepreneurship, leadership, and marketing, all things that I would like to try out. But if you're also interested in oil painting, I bookmark a bunch of other classes that you should go and check out. And if not, there are thousands of other lessons that surely something will suit you and catch your fancy. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box will get one month free Skillshare to try out. So for the next month, you can take it as like a trial run. You can embark on like a creative challenge for yourself, like especially if you're on summer break and check out some arts and crafts to make your downtime really meaningful. So thank you so much again for the sponsorship and let's continue painting. Bambi says, what about me? <laughs> I'm missing some of the texture that I want and 
it's just gonna take this layer to dry before I can come back with another layer and create some with more like that grainy chalky texture by scraping on with a dry brush so right now it looks really gooey also because the paint that I'm using specifically the green one is really cheap so I swear I, I bought that paint from like the level one beginners collection at Michaels when I was like 14 or something like that so it's been 10 years I'm still using it and the oils have completely like separated from the paint and it also takes days to dry quick update I got the second layer on top of the underpainting but as my first time doing this sort of like abstract work with oil I'm not used to the long drying time as opposed to when I'm working with gouache and can layer opaque color down and work quickly so I'm afraid there's nothing I can do at this time except wait for it to dry and I'm so impatient so I'm gonna actually use my extra paint and do another composition for fun. So I thought to myself, I have another blank canvas and a bunch of paint that I can't let set out because tomorrow I have to move. So I gotta clean this palette tonight and I don't wanna waste any other paint. Normally what I do is, is use shrink wrap and you can actually preserve your palette for a couple of days that way or I have a little container and I can scoop the groups of paint into that and make sure that it's airtight and oil paint dries very slowly so you can actually save your expensive materials. But another project that I would propose for you, like a cool project prompt, is to try to always finish up your palette and all the paint on there by having like a canvas as like a working project. I first saw this from an illustrator and painter uh, called Murdenara. If you want to check her out, she created this painting out of gouache that I think was over the course of several months because every time she finished an illustration, she had extra gouache that she didn't want to waste. She would just add to this floral painting and when all of the white surface was finally covered it was like a cool phenomenon to see like what ended up coming of it so i feel like this project is kind of the same idea i just had all of this paint left and i wanted to create something cute to decorate my future walk-in closet with so i painted the things that i love the most and in the meantime I, I noticed that i got way more in the zone when i wasn't trying to duplicate a digital sketch so Overall, I think I took away a lot from this process and I liked it. Like I've never, for example, depicted my cat as a green cat and this definitely helps with like the world building part of my work as an illustrator in general. So I'm happy that I got to do this and like work with the soft features um, and I feel like oil really allows you to do that as opposed to acrylic with a much quicker drying time so I am very happy with this painting um, less happy with the leaves I really like the idea of the stripes that I first put down but it got way too muddy because the cheap green paint just kept slipping everywhere and Bambi is the sweetest I want to miss him so much when I move art studios but this is how we hang out a lot I'm very careful that he doesn't get into my paint or anything but this is so sweet him and I are like soulmates <laughs> of some sort. We are kindred spirits. This is the progress of my last painting. I think it's very close to finished. And then this is the work in progress that is not even close to finish. I feel like since I've been doing a lot more digital art lately, it's definitely informing my paint process. And I'm just really enjoying the actual actions of pushing paint because using a tablet is convenient but it certainly is not anything like the real thing like analog art and uh, i'm trying to be less outcome oriented really try to explore and see how like all my work linked together whether it's painting digital illustration ceramics and I'm really like starting to weave the web and like kind of realize the world that I'm creating. So thank you so much for joining me for this paint with me and I will see you soon in the new space. Bye! <laughs>